Hi everyone, it's Pulse with Pioneer, and I've got another how-to video for you. Today we're talking about Ableton Live and the CDJ350 and CDJ850 for MIDI control. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got your CDJ850 and CDJ or CDJ350 connected. In OSX, you've got the uh, MIDI monitor, which is an audio MIDI setup, and that's found under the utilities. You find your devices listed under the MIDI window, which uh, you may need to go to Show MIDI window. And uh, provided you've got them both connected, they will appear. Devices that are not connected will show up sort of grayed out. It's important to set each of your devices to a separate uh, MIDI channel, and that's done on the unit itself. You can press and hold the utility button and scroll to find the MIDI channel settings. I've assigned uh, the CDJ350 to channel 2 and the CDJ850 to channel 1, and that's just because that's how they're sitting on my desk. So once you've got that done, if you also wanted to assign an aggregate device to your uh, players, because the uh, software only assigns one sound card, you would need to create an aggregate device which basically takes the two outputs from the 350 and the two outputs from the 850 and makes one sound card that Ableton can use all four outputs from. The software is, is basically creating a virtual four-channel sound card. Once you come back into Ableton, if you open up your preferences, you will see your MIDI ports down below, and that lists the devices that are connected. If you're connecting these things by USB, that's that's a plane for them to come up this way because it'll pick the names up. If you're connecting anything like a DJM mixer with a 5-pin DIN to uh, another device, that device's name will come up. It won't say Pioneer or whatever mixer. Uh, important to turn the remote on. Quite often you'll see track will come on first, you want to turn those ones off and just turn your remote on, that's all you need. And once you go back to the uh, the, the main window, uh, you can now start assigning your MIDI commands. So either click the MIDI button up the top right, or press Control M or Command M. Select what you want to assign. In this case, I'm just going to go down the track list. I'm going to hit um, the 1, 2, 4, 8 loop buttons on the 800, or sorry, 850. And you can see that they all have a 1 and then the note number. And now I'm going to do the track and scan buttons for the uh, the CDJ 350. And as I oops, as I uh, select those, you can see they'll load up here as well. And these ones have got a number two because that is MIDI channel two. So if you had overlapping notes, you would end up with two commands being controlled by the same button. And that's why it's important to assign a different MIDI channel to each device because you don't want to have uh, one button on each device controlling two different things and, uh, and it can get really confusing that way. So that's it. If you have any other questions, please do come and ask us in the forums. I'm Pulse with Pioneer.